festive. So this is a Witness Extra video. Uh, we came down to Deakin Geelong um, to see the Mill Night exhibition that they were part of the beginning of the community theatre movement in Australia. Tell me about the exhibition. I initially thought about doing, I wanted to do an exhibition about the Mill Theatre generally, but the Mill Night seemed to me the most important thing to focus on yeah. at the moment because it was, it represented that really great um, collaboration by the night where they threw open their doors to Geelong and yeah. said, just come along, we're going to give you a really bad cup of coffee yeah. and <laughs> a pretty so bland biscuit yeah. and we're just going to make stuff and we want to see what you've got. Yeah, yeah. What used to happen every night, they'd go for about three hours, start mm. at eight, finish around 10, 30, 11. Um, they'd break up into groups, then they'd get together at the end of the night and each group would present mm. or not mm. present if they didn't want to. Um, the work they did. That was kind of the loose structure it would change from night to night. They did 200 of these things, so it was yeah, yeah. Um, quite varied. And a lot of the ideas for the larger shows came out of the Mill Nights. Mm. Their history plays, for example, came out of work that they were doing with on the Mill Nights. So I noticed the props in the room as well. Are they props yes. from the plays? Um, they're different things that, to me, represented various aspects of the shows. The fact that it was a wool mill and it would have had the smell of wool still, because it was still operating yeah. as a mill into the 70s. And wool was a bit of a focus of the shows as well. And balloons, they played it around with a lot. It's exciting. And stuff hanging from the ceiling. But Francesca was very big on hanging things from the ceiling, so yeah, I had yeah. to have a hat up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And chairs, they were always doing things on chairs. Oh yeah. Trying not to sort of step on the floor and getting from chair to chair. The index cards just had to do something with those. So funny, some of them are hilarious. But they take a bit of work to decipher because it's William's sort of fine you know, graphomaniac writing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but some of them are great, you just get a real sense of the night. Yeah, yeah. The complete um, abandonment of the fourth wall, yeah. uh, wanting to engage more directly with audiences, mm -hmm. using non-traditional theatre spaces, mm -hmm. creating a mashup of different material as yeah. well, not just concentrating on the well-made play, yeah. uh, using research material, using poems, using a song, using dance, whatever it may be, to yeah. create a piece of theatre. <laughs> That's what I think was so great about the Mill Nights, right? Like that they ran for so long and they got bored of them and started doing all sorts of new, so it starts out with the workshops and okay, we're gonna teach you to sing, etc., etc. But by the end, it's like, well, we're gonna recreate the storming of the Bastille. We're gonna recreate World War One. We're gonna do Casablanca. We're gonna do all of that. Um, they did the whole French Revolution one night as well. They did yes, 17. Yeah. Love that stuff. And the, the notion of being able to get a group of participating audience members to just come together and make, well, together we make spectacle. And those guys yes. go away having lived through the French Revolution for a night. Yeah, it's, and it's, doing then local history as well. Of like if something had happened recently in the area mm -hmm. or in the not too distant past, and I don't know whether it came from stories that they picked up or yeah. whether it were stories that people were bringing in on Thursday nights, but they explored a lot of local, yeah, yeah, sort of con contemporary history as well as sort of older events. Okay, the point of making a live show or a theatre show realistically is to say, we all do something together, us up here and you in the audience. And if they're mm -hmm. as invested as someone who's going, well, I know that street, I know that story. Yes, yes. It's much more an actual conversation as opposed to night after night to see the same play being put on the stage. Absolutely. And it's that sense of ownership away. that the community end up getting yeah. from that engagement and involvement and acknowledgement of their history being mm -hmm. important too. Yeah, yeah.